My new Asus Nexus 7 tablet has arrived along with my new Samsung Galaxy Nexus phone. Uh, the Galaxy Nexus phone has been out for a bit, but uh, it's going to be booted up on Jelly Bean here. And I thought it'd be fun to do a dual unboxing uh, because these two NFC equipped devices are both equipped with the latest that uh, Android offers from Google. And it'd be interesting to see how they combine. So let's see what they do. Okay, first of all, I know from previous unboxing videos that this is a really tight fit, this outer little casing that they have for it. So as you can see, I slitted it and then popped it out through the uh, top. Then once you get that open and you slit open the sides, there you go. Beautiful Nexus 7, pristine as could be. And behind that, a little pop for the accessory kit, which includes your instructions, your cable, your power charger, and that's about it. So. Okay, so the Samsung Galaxy Nexus is a lot more of a known entity than the Asus Nexus 7 tablet. This is a smartphone that's been out since last fall, um, and it's typical Android packaging, Nexus packaging. Very snappy there with the uh, little Android logo. You get a nice compact charger. By the way, the Asus charger for the Nexus 7 is just way too big for my taste. Uh, you get a nice little set of earbuds, nice charging cable, the battery, and that's it. Okay, so while the uh, Samsung Galaxy Nexus is uh, downloading apps, we may as well take a look at the Nexus 7 here. Kind of funny, when my wife saw it, she says, is that it? She couldn't believe that um, this was what all the fuss was about. And she's right to a certain degree. Tablets don't look all that dramatic when you just kind of look at them like that. And the Galaxy Nexus, uh, the Sa uh, Nexus 7, though, is a very interesting tablet in that it is relatively small. It has a nice, sleek, rubbery feel on the back there, so it's got good grip. It's definitely lighter in your hands than some of the other tablets, even my uh, Nook Color, which I'll show you side by side in a moment. Uh, you can see on the side here you have a four pin connector there for various docking stations and I noted in the startup manual, though I can't quite see them clearly, there are two microphones on the side of this unit uh, for picking up sound. Uh, can't quite see the portals here, I imagine I'll find them eventually. Uh, so you know there's a capability for stereo sound or, and or probably I would guess noise cancellation capabilities. And of course there's your front facing camera. Uh, for video and for uh, stills, stills photography and looks like that's your uh, volume control on the side and the uh, power up button. So we're going to power up this puppy now and see what the startup sequence looks like. There you go. We're googling away with the Nexus 7. Familiar Nexus logo as it's uh, starting up its its uh, boot. Thinking, I charged it, put it on the charger just for a couple of moments for the heck of it, but uh, it seemed to be fully charged. So I guess it's inviting us to hit the old button there and select our Wi-Fi. We'll go through that particular procedure. And I'll go through all the. Uh, well, I'll go through this. Okay, and as as with my Nexus 7, I use the dual key authentication, so it's going to ask me to enter a, uh, a special password that's associated with that, so there's an extra step, but nothing that's hard to do. So I entered my uh, backup code, and looks like it's trying to uh, sync me. Maybe that's with my uh, Nook Color that's uh, a rooted device. So it may be getting the things from uh, my other tablet, even though it's running uh, Cyanogen Mob 7, CM7, uh, maybe it's identifying it as a tablet, which makes sense because it is in the Google Play Store. Okay, sure, I'm going to use location because this is what half the fun is all about, especially with Google Now. And there you have it. So that's it. I'm going to uh, cut away now to answer the phone, and then we'll take a look at the features.